Welcome to this short video that will outline the latest enhancements in the popular and useful ArcGIS for AutoCAD version 355. In this latest release, Esri has added support to the application for the latest versions of AutoCAD. A new tool has been added to help define feature classes from existing AutoCAD layers. This tool is especially useful when using ArcGIS for AutoCAD to build new GIS data from existing CAD drawings. This release includes an improved experience for connecting to ArcGIS servers that contain many services. The new behavior allows me to quickly access services I'm looking for without the wait to validate the services on the server. This release also includes an important bug fix for accessing secured servers. ArcGIS for AutoCAD 355 has the capability to access ArcGIS Enterprise services from servers federated with Portal for ArcGIS when the services are shared to everyone. Although the previous release of ArcGIS for AutoCAD 350 did function with AutoCAD versions 2016 and 2017, the installation routine and the desktop launcher have been updated in the most recent version to recognize these newer versions of AutoCAD. Here I will launch the install. The installation is then completed and I can use the added executable to launch AutoCAD with ArcGIS for AutoCAD loaded automatically. This saves me from loading it after I open ArcGIS for AutoCAD with the netload command. Something I know many of you are really going to appreciate is the new services browsing experience in the new release. When first connecting to some servers in the previous version, it could take quite a while to sort through all of the services on your server. Now you can quickly browse to the server and query the services only when you ask for them. This creates a huge improvement in the time it takes you to browse to the server and access the services you're looking for. A new command is the Esri Layer to Feature Class command that I can access from the Features ribbon panel to create ArcGIS feature classes from populated layers in my AutoCAD drawing. This functionality is especially useful when I want to start drawing and create data that I will use in ArcGIS. Instead of creating the feature classes by entering layer names, I can simply just start drawing the features using AutoCAD, something that I was going to do anyway. When I finish drawing what I need, I can have the Esri Layer to Feature Class command take what I've drawn and build ArcGIS feature classes from it. Here I just draw my baseball field sketch with all the different parts of my field. When I finish drawing what I need, I can have the Esri Layer to Feature Class command take what I've drawn and build ArcGIS feature classes from it. It's a helpful way for me to turn existing drawings into ArcGIS datasets. I can then add any number of descriptive attribute fields to these feature classes by editing the feature class properties. This release provides an important bug fix for accessing secured services that was discovered in 10.3.1 and newer servers. This release addresses those issues. ArcGIS for AutoCAD version 355 also now supports ArcGIS web services on ArcGIS servers federated with Portal for ArcGIS when those services are shared with everyone. When accessing these Portal federated services, they must first be shared with everyone. I can enter my credentials that are authenticated by Portal and access those services with ArcGIS for AutoCAD. I trust you will enjoy these new capabilities and improvements, and thanks for watching.